We were very lucky to have a lot of help from NASA and the Air Force. Shooting in both of those locations was incredible to have that access. It was right at the end of the film, so it was interesting having shot the whole film on stages and in, in places where the film didn't take place to finally be in these historic locations. This is not a science fiction story at all. This is very much history. Being able to shoot in the actual locations, I mean, there's something to that. It's a more fun way to make the film with the people who were really there to hear their stories, to have them be involved actively in, in the shaping of it as well as they were in the shaping of, of history. Whenever there is a choice between doing it real and budging it, the choice has always been made to do it real, and that's pretty impressive. Cape Canaveral, I mean, that was kind of amazing to shoot there. We were there with our Apollo 11 actors, with Corey Stoll playing Buzz Aldrin, Lucas Haas playing Mike Collins, and Ryan playing Neil, obviously. See Mark. When you've got everybody working together behind the camera and in front of the camera, actually occupying that same space in that same world, it's really helpful, and there's a lot of really intangible things that happen that bring the audience into that world. I feel really blessed to have gotten to see this stuff. I mean, I feel it like it's almost changed my life in some ways. To be in those places where the experience had happened with people who had experienced it was, was pretty amazing. We were able to use the actual van that they drove the astronauts to the launching pad that fateful morning. You see in those old moving pictures of those guys waving and going down, headed towards the rocket. Like, I'm the real astronaut. It's so spot on from what the actual experience must have been like. We were able to use the actual building and doorways and everything that have all been kind of kept exactly as is for that scene as well. And then, of course, the actual crawler that they used to transport the Saturn V. Jesus, that's a big mother. The VAB building. You feel lucky enough to just see them, let alone to be able to shoot them. Every time you look at the monitor, it's exciting because it's the actual thing. I feel like I was there, you know? Then when we were out at Edwards Air Force Base... And Joe Engel, who was uh, the last living pilot to fly the X-15, was on set for the days that we were shooting those sequences. So real. Oh, yeah, you're liking it? That's the plane that we see Neil flying in the beginning of the movie. And that plane, that's a whole movie unto itself. That was a plane that looks like it shouldn't fly at all. It was dropped from a B-52 powered a rocket up to space, and then flew completely power-free for the rest of its mission. It's just an insane aircraft. To have Joe there and Ryan and all of us shooting again on the actual landing strip where it landed, it was another great moment. That was really cool. It just was a much more fulfilling experience for us, and I hope that that's translated to the audience as well.